Welcome, welcome to Hangman Tarot. We're going to get started straight away into this reading. This is a missing person reading. Yeah, it's giving me like a uh, weird feeling thoughts on it. So I'm like, you know, I'll just do a reading on it. You never know. Um, please go ahead and hit subscribe while you're waiting, but I'm going to get into this shuffle almost immediately. I'll go over kind of the missing person situation, the case or, you know, what's going on. Um, the most current thing that I'm seeing is that they're modifying a search for Kylie Ro Ro Rodney or Rodney Rodney. Rodney. So Kylie Rodney, California police modifying search effort next week um, as a few signs of missing teenager emerge. And they're asking anyone with videos or photos from August 5th party near the Prosser family campground to share them with investigators. So this is in Truckee, California. The search for missing 16-year-old Kylie will be scaled down to a task force-based investigation. California investigators said Monday, 10 days after the teen vanished under disturbing circumstances. We are still looking for clues, they said. Videos, tips, any information to help us to put the pieces together. Um, we will continue the search. And that was Sam Brown from Nevada County Sheriff's Office. And during Monday news briefing, we are moving into a more limited continuous search rescue effort. He said massive um, search effort has been put more than 9,000 man hours since um, she was reported missing on August 6th. The search started, started last week in the immediate area where the girl's phone had actually last been pinged. So near Prosser Creek Reservoir. And it has steadily expanded outward. Police have been unable to locate the girl or her SUV for other signs. And they say they have still not found anyone who actually saw her leaving the area before she actually went missing. So they are asking anyone again for any photos um, that might have been taken to share them all with the investigators. So um, I guess. Okay, so a full zone or a full description of what was going on is she was last seen at a packed outdoor party with hundreds of other young people. And just after midnight on August 6th, an outdoorsy upbringing, she has an, out, she, she has an outdoorsy upbringing. So, um, and a strong resolve, according to Cassie Havel, a family friend and spokesperson, she she has more than survival skills, I guess, to make it back. So she has raised, she was raised in a family where they know how to survive in the outback. And that's just where she was raised and how she was raised. The party was near Prosser Family Campground in the Tahoe National Forest, involving between 200 or 300 juveniles and young adults. According to the Placer County Sheriff's Office, there was suspected use of drugs and alcohol and all of her friends told Fox News that last week the girl was likely to have been drunk, too drunk to attempt to drive. So um, investigators early Monday released an image of the pink and white hoodie that she was seen wearing on the night that she vanished, vanished possibly due to an abduction. The Placer County Sheriff's Office released only a stock image of the garment, a white hooded sweatshirt with pink blocks, letters spelling on it odd future and the name of the LA hip hop. I just had a weird. Oof. Oof. Yeah. I just had a very, I have goosebumps right now. I just, I, okay. I have to say because they literally only gave a stock picture of the hoodie. I really feel like it's because it has stuff on it. It probably, I'm just, I'm just saying, I just got this literally goosebumps through my entire body. And I was like, in my head, they're not showing the real photo because it is bloody. It has something on it. There's dirt, something on it to make it look not just ju for appearance reasons, but I feel like then they can hold back on sharing what it actually looks like so that they can, you know, save their ass on the investigation. So then they're probably aware that something happened now. That's probably why they're modifying the search. I just had a horrible feeling. Okay. Sorry. I just, I got a jolt. It was just right through goosebumps image. I was, I can, I can see it literally. This is not fun. Okay. So, um, let me finish up here. Sorry. I just, when that happens, I got to stop for a minute. Um, so, um, again, the video, she was in this hoodie in the video when she was wearing it earlier in the evening. So earlier in the evening, she was wearing this pink and white hoodie that they won't show the real hoodie to. 
And I know that police hold back information so that they, it doesn't fuck up their investigation or whatnot. So that might be why. And they are modifying the search. Yeah, because there's indications that she's probably less likely missing now. But I feel like it's because there's probably something on the hoodie that makes them kind of think that's where I'm going with this. This is completely just like a thought that came across my mind. Um, they said during the Monday news briefing, investigators were not ready to re release the photo. So separately, she told the news digital it contains no person of interest. She declined to discuss the further video. Citing the open. Con OK, yeah. So she's citing that basically it'll mess up their investigation um, if they show a picture of her in that hoodie. Like what? This is so weird. Something something descript on her even. Um, okay, so she does have a full driver's license. She's in a silver 2013 Honda CBR CRV, which is also missing. Oh, her car's missing too. So there's that. How do you not find a fucking car? Like I just oh okay. I just realized why they can't find the car. Legit. It's creepy. Okay, so her 17th birthday is next month. So she's probably what a Libra. Libra, maybe. Or Virgo. Okay, so the car was has a Ram head sticker under the. We don't need to know all that. Like honestly, I'm just trying to get this out here as much as I can. Um, again, she was wearing dicky pants, a black studded belt, a black spaghetti strap bodysuit. And she's in the possession of another gray hoodie with, and this one had um, Lana Del Rey lyrics on it. So she's a, a celebrity fan too. Okay, so I'm going to get into this reading because I just, I have so much intuition on this right now. I don't even, I know, I just, yeah, I have a really bad fucking vibe right now. I can barely shuffle. I'm like a hot mess. I'm always a mess on these ones. It's awful. I literally become a mess. I start shaking and shit. And yeah, I just started shaking. This is ridiculous. Okay. All right. We are going to get in on about this person who we are missing. Where and who and what and who is this person that is missing? So I just want to know who she is as you know a person. Okay, I don't like that card. I officially don't like that deck. Okay. Um, so I literally was just asking about who she was. Um, that came up. So there's that. Um, I do feel like also that if you were to look over any information about her, I definitely feel like let me get some cards out here. Hold on. I'm a hot mess, literally, right now. I hate doing these, but for some reason, I needed to. Let me find out who this person is, who she is. We already don't really need a graveyard card. <laughs> like, what? Like, Jesus. The, I know the lyrics are very creepy. Okay, so the lyrics... It says, there's a song that bellows in the peace of knowing no end in acknowledging the crossroads of eternity. It is so creepy. And just knowing, and that's 18, so that's just assessing, that's information, knowing things, uh, reflecting. If It would be obvious if we were actually given every fact and that's why it was in reverse i guarantee it if we are given all the information on her investigation right now we would already know we would we would already know i just feel like anything that yeah we already know okay there we go yeah it's our superpower 
Okay. Um, so she probably was, she probably wasn't like the biggest social bug on the planet. I feel like she definitely was into kind of isolating a little bit and she found fulfillment in doing that, but she may get stuck in that kind of thing when she does it. So she could even get into a depressed kind of state when she would go into that type of dealings, but there's a lot of stuff to discover on the inside of her. So that's a good thing that she was always, you know, utilizing that, that thing, that power that we have to go on the inside and get some sort of self mentorship. So I definitely feel like that's just kind of a person that she was, she was able to withdraw when she needed to, but sometimes wasn't able to kind of collect herself out of the situation. Um, I'm so sorry, but these are all in reverse too. Hermit and the Empress. Mm. So there was somebody, there was a lover. This could be a boy or a girl. There was a lover. There was somebody around her. Trees. I'm, I feel like there could have been a pregnancy even. I'm not quite sure, but I feel like there could have been some sort of um, physical creation or just in general, just a creation, um, lack of creation. These are all in reverse again. So this is just indicating to me, again, <laughs> low energy or not alive. So that's... In my mind, I just am seeing somebody cradle a baby even. So there's a cradling of the baby and then there's light around both of them. And it's almost like there's protection around them now or protection in general. Again, this is just me throwing this card out there. It could be a couple different story paths on that one, but there is definitely somebody around her. This could even be the person that potentially um, helped aid in her, her go, going missing, really. This person's going to come off trustworthy, um, somebody who doesn't compromise themselves. This person is definitely a talker, a communicator, but they are like that emotional, lovey, receptive, uh, almost forceful with it though. Like they're so like wanting to be this person to the other person of the partner. So like, they're just very much a lover, very much intense. I mean, there's like, um, like an understanding that that's who they are and that's who they'll always be. They're very rooted though. So this person would not come off that way. Tell me more about this person. Show me the influences of this person. What is this person to her and what they do? Any information? I'm just feeling a lot of like blocks here. Okay. Seven of swords and then five of pentacles. So this person, the knowing or whatever this person knew brought awareness um, kind of into her, okay, so I feel like whatever this person knows would bring awareness to what is going on. So I feel like there is consequences to knowing this information, though. But this person knows something. This person fucking knows something. This is a king of water. Again, um, they could they could be African-American or they could just have very dark skin. I feel like this, if the khakis, does it, wasn't she wearing khakis? All of these people are wearing khakis. Hmm. I don't like it. I do not like it. Okay. So anything kind of when it comes to this person, again, just him or her knowing the information that they know could put them in a place where they have to suffer certain consequences here. Um, and the likeliness of the situation or the influences surrounding that is that, yeah, there's a lot of worry around this and there's like almost like lack of reliability so it's almost like they're not going to come forward and express it themselves. So somebody will have to find out or figure it out. Yeah. This person definitely fucking knows something. It's children again. This person could have known them in childhood. Whoa. Whoa. 
Okay. Okay, we're gonna just find out. Let's just find out. Okay, was this person taken intentionally? Is she conscious, unconscious, hurt? Is she deceased? Was it intentional? The Empress card came up again. It's intentional. It was intentional. It was definitely intentional. It's bringing up the person again and just kind of indicating with star. I feel like there was fulfillment between these two or whatever was going on, but I feel like there was definitely some sort of a situation and I feel like it was a positive thing. It was successful, but I feel like with this Empress card again, once again, coming up, I just feel like, yes, something was intentional between this, these two even. Is she alive? Yeah, so kind of trust that this is going to come to an ending. It's going to come to an ending and we're going to be getting some sort of communication about it. And it's going to need a lot of bounce back or recovery. So this is definitely, I feel like intuitively and wisdom wise and just knowing and patience, like everybody fucking knows. But there is like a specific person that does know and that's what's going to end this. So whatever that is, it's going to... Could it, con, this conflict, it could have been violent. Where was this at? Give me something. Outside. Outside. Okay. Okay, it was definitely outside. It was definitely on the earth. It was definitely in the earth, on the earth. Um, I feel like the ultimacy or the, the whole influence here is that she was too young. So something to do with somebody else. And then she was too young. I don't know what that means, but I feel like she was too young for sure. And she was definitely, this is definitely a message of some kind for me, but that's what motivated it. She was too young. So that was the motivating factor of why this is heading in this direction. But yeah, this would have been in the earth outside and there was no control. There was, it was just non, no, I don't necessarily think that it was planned. I don't think it was manifested. I don't, I think, you know, I think that it was definitely something that was a thought though. Something that might've been a little bit more pressure than anything else. Let me find out. Yeah, so there has to do with manipulation. There's some sort of seduction, passion. There's definitely something to do with passion, sex. Um, again, the sex was very spiritually connected is how the, the they felt. This other person that knows. So there is somebody here. I think she's rooted. I think she's buried. She's buried. And it's just going to be for a slight moment. We're just kind of kind of like hanging, waiting for this to kind of change and shift in perspective because we're going to be like, oh, well, fuck Jesus. Like we should have known better type of thing. Hmm. I literally think that somebody put something in her drink. Literally feel like somebody put something in her drink. I have this really fucked up feeling. Definitely. It would have put, it would have been the potential to like, you know, get her into a different place or get her into a different space or whatever. It would have made things way fucking easier. Oh my God. 
are you suggesting a black man took her? No, I am just giving out what the cards are telling me. It could have been white as, you know, white as white. I just said the card indicated that. <laughs> So I love, I love that comment. Um, but no, yes. Um, in the card, it was indicating that, but it could have been, it can be anybody at this point. Um, the mother, I think the mother should be looked at. Yeah. I think the mother definitely should be looked at. Likely out. It's ingesting something, literally. This is so fucking creepy. To expect to expect bleeding from the inside. She literally ingested something. Something was inside of her. And that might have been, oh my God. And if there was a pregnancy, like that would be the perfect thing to do because she was young. She was too young. And if this other person was like, hey, I can't have you on my conscience or consequences. I legit think that yes, something was put inside of her. And then maybe it just fucked her up, up. And then this person maybe panicked. No, like I just felt like the whole thing was fucking set up or shady when I was watching the news clips. And I was like, what? Like it was weird. Oh my God, this is so weird. I literally just said this and I got the rooted card. That is dead ass. Yeah. Whatever's hidden is going to come out. It's going to come out. It'll be invoked. The truth will be invoked for sure. I mean, it's just a matter of time, but this is, this is definitely something that people probably aren't thinking. And I normally don't read cards <laughs> like this. So I'm completely in awe right now. Let me get the last couple cards here. Likely outcome for the next even week or so. Likely outcome. Okay, that the um, air signs coming up. Air water. Okay, again, this person is extremely determined, um, kind of a motivated individual. So it's almost like we it, they're smart, they're logical, they make sense. So it's like we wouldn't even know, we wouldn't even notice, like at all. Again, that hermit card keeps coming up. So this person's not going to communicate. That's the likely outcome. He's not going to come forward with this. He's not going to give anybody, you know, a, you know, a fresh pair of eyes because he's not coming forward. He's not going to come forward with the information. He's going to withdraw. He's going to go back inside. He's definitely going to hide. I think she's either buried in the ground or she's in the water. And this would be relief in considering how she probably felt right before. This will bring her a lot of relief. But I think the hope is in the water. The hope is in the water. I'm going to go with that. This card is just. It is. It is. It's totally in there. In the water. Because they, they, they were lake people. Lake, uh, lake town. There was a lake, right? Drunk kids. I mean, why wouldn't one of them end up in a lake? Yeah, I definitely feel like that's where she's at. She's in the water. <laughs> yeah, I believe so. I think they should look at the mom and then whoever this that water water air sign is. They're looking in the water. It's got to be in the water. If it's not in the water, she's buried somewhere. I don't think he he or she. I don't think whoever what if she was drugged and then just passed out somewhere? Like, I mean, something had to do with ingesting. She ingested something and it could have put her in a place of danger or this person did it on purpose. Like, again, I'm not quite sure on those things, but I think she's definitely in the water. And it's like, she's not going to go get her car and take herself into the water. I mean, I don't think that kind of stuff happens, but I feel like she's definitely, it's something about ingesting something, putting something inside her and somebody with really bad intention 
on someone who has pure intentions. She's got pure intentions, but I feel like she was definitely too young. She's too young. She was too young to be doing whatever she was doing. Even she was just too fucking young. Where is her fucking mother? I'm kidding. I'm kidding. We are not perfect. We are mothers. We're human, but come on. Mm, that makes me so sad. Okay. I got to get out of here. Speaking of daughters, I got to go pick up my daughter. I told her I was coming like 25 minutes ago. <laughs> okay. Uh, my love, my healing, my energy goes to this family and to the friends of Kylie also and to her, of course, hoping that none of the shit that I just said is true. I do hope that none of that is true, but I hope it, it helps or, you know, brings any sort of healing to anybody in general, just watching. So again, if you guys, anybody knows anything, just reach out to those police, um, looking up, I'll put all the information onto the description. Yes. Lots and lots of prayers and lots of positive vibes. I mean, if anything to do anything is just to have some sort of an answer for something, water, water, ingestion, poisoning. I, yeah, definitely. I, I'm vibing that for sure. So we will see. Well, hopefully she's alive though. And she took a sedative and she's waking up now. I mean, you can always pray. A brother? Oh, my Lanta. So I'm not allowed to say what the person was in the card. In the card, it was a black man who was wearing khakis. So... I'm not, I mean, I'm not the police. I'm a terror reader. So odds are is they don't give a shit. Okay. And it doesn't matter if he's black or white, but the card indicated dark skin or black African-American. So I don't know what else to tell you. I mean, if you're going to be sensitive about that shit, you got to get on out of here. Cause I'm, I don't tolerate it. Like I don't, because I'm not here for bad intention and I cannot be weary of everybody's shit. I'm not pizza, I'm not going to make you all happy. So if something aligns with you in another place, go there. Okay. Cause again, I don't have time for this shit. What? Get out of here with that. I don't even know what's happening right now. And <laughs> I'm getting off. You're insane. <laughs> okay. I love you all, but I have to go have a coffee before I lose my mind. Have a good day. You guys love you all.